about you guys, but spring is one of my absolute favorite times of year, and I am so excited that it's starting to warm up and that summer is just around the corner. So I wanted to share with you a quick little spring eye tutorial. So we all know that for spring and summer, what's in trend is those warmer browns, the oranges and the pinks, but how do you put that on your eyes and make it not look like you have a fever or you're really sick um, or that you're really, really tired? So I wanted to share with you a quick little spring eye tutorial on how to kind of make those trends a little bit more wearable. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is prime our eyes first. Um, I'm gonna use MAC Painterly, it's a paint pot. It's just a flesh tone mat. Um, and I'm gonna take my finger and just apply a little bit of this on all over my entire eye. This is super important because this is gonna help kind of even out the skin on the eyelid. So take away any discoloration as well as act as a primer for your shadow. So it's gonna keep it from creasing, help the color to be more intense and also keep your eyeshadow on all day. You know, we all know what it's like when you put your eyeshadow on in the morning and by noon you're like, where did it go? This is definitely a must have product so that it doesn't do that, okay? So a little bit of that on all over, make sure it's nice and smooth because how that goes on is how your eyeshadow is gonna go on, okay? So first up, we are gonna start with doing our crease. And I am using the Amazing Palette by Too Faced. This is the Sweet Peach eyeshadow palette. Um, has an amazing amount of colors in there that are both matte and shimmer but some really fun shades for spring and summer. So I'm gonna be doing a couple of videos on this, but if you don't have this particular palette, you can always use shadows that you have at home that are similar in color. It smells like sweet peaches, so double bonus there. We're gonna start with our crease color first, and I'm gonna go through with my crown brush in the C512. It's kind of um, rounded and a little bit of a point to it. So we are gonna go through with this warmer brown color called Summer Yum. So it's a matte kind of brown that is warmer. So whatever you have at home, and I'm gonna get my product on my brush, and I'm gonna slowly just start in the corner of the eye and just shade to the inner corner. And I'm gonna go back and just keep adding product to the brush. It's better to add than to have to take away. And you can see I'm just kind of going back and forth in like a little windshield washing motion just to get that color on there and to start to shape the eye. A little bit more. You want this color to be nice and blended, so that's why I use kind of a fluffier rounded brush. So now that that side's on, we're gonna do the other side. Start on the outer corner and just lightly shade all the way in. Again, we're gonna add more color, do a couple layers to it. Always helps to kind of look in the mirror, make sure that everything's looking somewhat even. Once we are done with that step, we're gonna take a firm flat brush that we can pack some color on and I'm gonna use this color called Just Peachy. So it's kind of, I'll show you, um, it has a little bit of a warmth to it. It's a beautiful kind of gold shimmery pink color. Um, a lot of people get scared of those colors, but for spring it's all about kind of pulling those peaches out and putting warmth on the eyes. So we're gonna do it in kind of a, a user-friendly way. So we're gonna pack a little bit of this color on and we are going to go and pack this onto our eyelid. And basically just from your lash line up to where we just did that crease color is where we're putting this color, but look how pretty it is. It's one of my favorites. If you're someone that has green or blue eyes, this color is gonna really help to bring out the blue. So if you know anything about color theory, you know everyone always says, oh, I want my eyes to pop. I want them to look really blue or green or whatever. Um, instead of doing like blue or green eyeshadow, which is what a lot of people think will make their eyes pop, you actually wanna do colors like that have warmth to them to kind of pull out the blue. So if you're wanting to, them to look a little bit more blue, you wanna stick with the orange tone. So doing the warmer brown like we did, doing that peachy color. If you have green eyes and you want them to look even greener, you're gonna kinda of wanna do more of like the reddish tone. So something with a little bit more red in the shadow. Um, you don't necessarily have to put bright red on your eyes, but just things that are gonna have undertones of those different colors. So, all right, now we have our little peach um, are just peachy on the eyelid. And what you could do is you could throw some eyeliner on and you could pretty much put your mascara on and call this an everyday look. 
but we're gonna just keep going just a little bit more just to kind of make this take this look up just a little bit I'm gonna use my crown pro brush in C511 it's a little bit smaller still fluffy but um, still great for blending but we're gonna pack a little bit of color on with this so we are gonna go through with um, let's use tempting it's kind of like a darker kind of brownish black color and we're just gonna kind of smoke this look out just a little bit so I'm gonna get my product on there normally I do my eyes first so that, that way if we have any fallout it doesn't get messed up but I wanted you guys to see this look before I didn't want you to have to stare at my face without having face makeup on this whole time so um, you can just, you know, I would do your eyes first and then go back and do your face makeup. So we're going to take a little bit of this and we're going to just take it in the corner here. And we're just going to kind of go down, brush down into the lash line and then up into the crease just a little bit. Just to give our eyes a little bit of dimension like that. Now we're going to go back and blend, but you can kind of start to see it's just making the look a little bit more dramatic. Okay. So same thing on the other side, a little bit in the corner here, kind of in like a little corner V. So going down into the lash line and then up into the crease just a little bit. making sure that it looks nice and even. Then we're gonna go back through with our crease brush that we used in the beginning. Maybe take a little bit of your crease color and we're just gonna go back over the dark kind of into the crease just to blend that. So that it looks nice and smooth and blended all the way up, okay? Same thing on this side, we're just gonna go back and blend. like that and next we're going to just take um, one of our lighter shades I'm going to use um, white peach and we're going to you could actually just flip over your firm flat brush that you use just peachy with and load up your light color and we're just going to apply this right underneath the brow here to give you a little bit of a brow highlight Just like that, okay? All right, now we are gonna move on to eyeliner. So I am using MAC Teddy Eyeliner. This one is amazing because it has like a little bit of a shimmer to it, so it's a shimmery brown. Awesome for summer, awesome for spring. It's great for every day if you're not wanting a super dark eyeliner. So we're gonna apply this. Now when you do your liner, instead of you know doing all these and making all the funny faces, I wanna challenge you to get a really nice smooth line. Try to keep one eye closed and when I open, start on the outer corner and just go in short little strokes with your liner. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't try to get a straight line because that's really hard to do. So take your liner, short little strokes, just to kind of connect them until you are all the way to the inner corner. It does take some practice to keep one eye open and one eye closed. But you just want to kind of get the eyeliner on there. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because what you can do is go through with an angled brush and you're just going to go over your liner to smudge it out but also to connect the line and make it look nice and smooth okay this will also help keep your eyeliner from transferring to the top if you're someone that has issues with that but it also just kind of diffuses out your liner and makes it a little bit softer okay so we're going to do the other side starting on the outer corner just kind of working our way in in short little strokes Now it's not perfect, it's not that smooth, but we're gonna go back through with our angled brush and just go over top of it. So that it blends, okay? All right, so now that we are done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my mascara on. This one is Roller Lash by Benefit. Um, it has a nice curved brush to it, so it helps really curl the lashes. So I'm just going to tip my head back and kind of look down and start getting my mascara on.
Okay, so once your mascara is on, we are gonna just add, instead of doing eyeliner on the bottom, we're gonna take a little bit of color to do this. So I'm gonna take my angled brush again, and you could really pick any color that you want. Um, because this is kind of like more of a spring, kind of fun, bright look, I'm gonna take a little bit of this color right here called Delectable and get it on my brush, and then I'm just gonna smudge it underneath as my eyeliner. It's a little bit softer than if you were to do a pencil all the way around. Um, and it's just a fun way to kind of add in some fun color to your look. This one's kind of like that darker purple. Like that. The last thing I'm gonna do just to kind of finish off the eye area is just apply a little bit of brow gel. Um, this one is Gimme Brow by Benefit. Um, it's their number one shade and it has a real small brush. We're just going to literally comb this on kind of up and then over for the lashes and it basically just gets them all going the same direction. If you have any crazy rogue brows it helps just kind of tame them but it also adds just a tiny bit of color if you feel like you need to fill in your brows just a tiny bit. And there you go, there's kind of like a fun spring eye that is dramatic but still kind of fun and summery.